on my collab video with Evanito, Jinx wrote that video didn't talk much about the working conditions of animators in Japan. So, what are they like? According to an American guy that works for the anime industry, said that it's an illegally harsh industry. People had to overwork to the point of vomiting, he worked 6 days a week with 10 hours of work, and all that for below minimum wage. Okay, that already sounds awful, but how much below minimum wage? According to a Kotaku article, for new hire animators, pay starts at 7.70 yen, 6.75 an hour. If an animator works 8 hours a day and 260 days a year, the salary would be the equivalent of $14,000. So, about $1,170 a month. But hold on. Where I live, that doesn't sound bad at all. How will I know how badly they're being paid? Well, an easy way to find out is using the Big Mac Index. It shows how much a McDonald's Big Mac costs around the world. Because the literal price for Big Macs is different around the world, but it's still a Big Mac for everyone. So, it gives you an idea of how much people earn and how much things cost in the country. Anyhow, in Japan, a Big Mac at McDonald's is 370 yen, or 314 USD, on 38th place. And the monthly wage of an anime animator is 133,000 yen. So, if an animator only wants to buy Big Macs with all of his hard-earned money, he will have 360 of them every month. But if he worked for minimum wage in Japan, he would make somewhere between 790 yen or a thousand per hour, depending in what prefecture you live in. On average, it's about 900 yen an hour, so that's 156,000 yen, or 422 Big Macs every month. So, animators are supposed to be paid 62 Big Macs more. But animators don't really need Big Macs to live and animate properly, they need basic life necessities like housing, food, water and hookers. So let's say we have an anime animator that really likes Big Macs, right, but doesn't want to eat them in the gutter. So let's take that 156,000 yen and pay for basic necessities in Tokyo because that's where 76% of Japanese animators live. So things like rent, transport, and electricity and heating costs. So as you can see, they would only have 64,000 yen left for beer and hose for the entire months, or $593 or 174 Big Macs. Also, don't forget you're doing this all with extra shifts and no pay, so you'll probably be late for your wife's dinner every night. The American guy in Japan also said, they demand that you come in whenever they realize the deadline isn't going to be met. That probably means about a month and a half of non-stop work without a single day off. Then you will be allowed to go back to your regular six-day work weeks of ten-hour days. To make things worse, with the steady increase of anime being released every year means that anime studios have to compete in the industry by releasing more and more anime in an industry that was already underpaid and labor-intensive. The simple solution to this problem is what Kotani Kyoko said in an interview when someone asked her for a solution. We increase the funding and people and decrease the amount of anime being created. Yeah, it's also quite expensive. One fourth of all anime studios are in debt. Simply put, anime is expensive and takes a long time to make. I know it's hard to imagine not having a traditional junk anime every season. But it's worth the sacrifice if it means the animators will live better. Also, don't forget hentai animators. They face the same problems.